special day in your university. When democracy is under attack and voice is being attacked, then the only real way to combat that is through action. India coalition is coalescing around the idea, the core ideological idea of the Congress Party. Partnering with the United States, partnering with Europe to build an alternative vision of production within a democratic environment. This is a special day in your university. Mr. Gandhi, this is a special day for us. First of all, thank you for having me here. We look at India and we see a country that whose economy is growing, a country which uh, creates technology that innovates. What is it that needs to be done? When we say, when we use words like democracy, what we are actually talking about is the voice of people. Listening effectively to that voice, allowing that voice expression is central to any success. And we've experienced that pretty much everything that we've achieved. The bedrock of it is this idea that we protect the voice of one another. Our leader, Mahatma Gandhi, said it best when he said that the most important voice is the one that's last in the line, the most difficult voice to protect. And a nation that is doing that will succeed. Where exactly do you see yourself placing the role of Hinduism? in a post BJP India. I've read the Gita, number of the Upanishads. I've read many Hindu books. There's nothing Hindu about what the BJP does. There's absolutely nothing. The large mass, the real power of India is in the lower caste, the other backward caste, these communities. And they are not given any space in the governance of India. They're not given any space in corporate India. They're not given any space anywhere. And that to me is a crime. It's very important that we build, build a bridge between India and your countries. And I would like to invite as many of you as possible to come to India, take a look at what is going on and seize a lot of the opportunities that a democratic, productive India can bring to the world. Thank you. We would like to have you like some dinner or something. Tell me why you want me to come and talk. No, we're serious. We'll ask you. Let's plan something. India coalition is coalescing around the idea, the core ideological idea of the Congress Party. They are in agreement with us and really the fight is about whether the nature of India is going to remain the same or is going to change. A constitution uh, was adopted by India and that constitution in its very design was an attack on the social hierarchy of India. And that constitution is what the RSS and the BJP are trying to destroy. And that constitution is what the Congress Party and the India Coalition is trying to protect. A Prime Minister of India whose politics is about dividing India. I mean, you can see the difference between a Manmohan Singh G Prime Ministership and a Narendra Modi Prime Ministership from day one. Because what the Prime Minister says and the way he frames things has a huge effect. Currently, a lot of our problems are coming because our economic policy is only helping a very limited set of people. I always used to wonder why Mahatma Gandhi used to do these walks or why he would end up in Champaran for two months, three months. And it's because there was complete media domination against him. The only way he could transmit his voice was by action. And without action, his voice wouldn't happen. So that's why the Yatra was imagined. 
Today, manufacturing and production is taking place in China. China has outcompeted everyone when it comes to manufacturing. Can we show the Chinese that we can produce this form, we can compete with them, but we can do it in a democratic environment where we give our people political freedom and economic freedom. democracy where you're not allowed to express your voice, where you're not allowed to say what you feel, where large numbers of people are not given that opportunity, is a weakening democracy. And that's what we have in India. Large parts of our population are not allowed to speak. They're threatened. Political leadership is brushed. I've got 24 cases on me. I've been interrogated for 55 hours. I've been given a jail sentence, two-year jail sentence. And we've realized that when democracy is under attack and voice is being attacked, then the only real way to combat that is through action, through walking, through physically going and meeting people. I enjoy that, it's difficult, I get hurt every now and then, but I brush myself, get up and go back to work. So that's, that's the habit. I, I don't like unfairness. I don't like it when people bully other people, when people frighten other people, and I tend to like to stand up. बहुत से लोग उधर बैठ कर रहे हैं आप। आया हूँ। पक्का बैठा हूँ।